Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball, and right now we're with Michael and Eric from the band Flotsam and Jetsam. Welcome to New York and the show. You guys just came from Arizona, right? Where is where the band is from? Yep. yep. And it's like snowing like nuts here, so you just <laughs> just just like home, huh? It's snowing yeah. sunshine in Arizona. So. <laughs> so tell me a little about you guys. Got a new record out called Quattro, and there's a lot of reasons, I guess, how the Quattro meaning four four Quattro, how that fits in. Oh, there's a couple different meanings. There's uh, it's the fourth record, and this is our fourth bass player, Jason Ward. This is the permanent guy. He's going to stay. Did you say that with the other three? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I know a couple of them. <laughs> we were just hoping it with the other three. Uh huh. So now, does anything feel different about this lineup? Oh, yeah. It seems like uh, when the band first started, we used to click really good, and uh, all the songs just came out real naturally and just flow. And it kind of does that again. The, the uh, in-between bass players, in-between... Uh, Newstead and uh, and Ward, we um, it was kind of hard. We we took a lot of time writing songs, and none of them turned out anywhere near what we wanted them to turn out like. It was a big mess working with other people, you know. How long is now? How long hard. has Flotsam and Jetsam been around from the beginning? It's gotta been a while. Uh, it's been Ten years probably since yeah. it started. I've been in the same band since '81. Really. We're going to come back and talk to these guys, and we're also going to play their new video, Waiting for the Darkness, when the Headbangers Ball continues, so stay right there. I was like, Tell me whatever hanging out want. with a couple of the guys from Flotsam and Jetsam, and we're about to play the video for Waiting Through the Darkness, and there was something that, I guess, you tried to do, or is it going to work? Yeah, it's kind of, you're supposed to be able to turn the brightness up and see um, almost a whole nother video in the background. Um, if you can't see it, sometimes there's like camera flashes and you can see the image in the back, but um, it didn't turn out exactly the way we wanted it to, but it turned out even better than we expected, so. Well, there you go. So try that. As a matter of fact, we'll play the video right now, and then we'll come back, talk to these guys, talk about the record, talk about when you can see them on the road. And uh, let's play the video. Here is Flotsam and Jetsam. That was Flotsam and Jetsam waiting through the darkness, and we're here with a couple of guys from the band. And I've been hearing, you know, that song on the radio, also Swatting Flies. Mm -hmm. Swatting Flies. Swatting Flies, Swatting Flies. Now, um, does it feel like you've been around since early, early 80s? Does it feel like the wheels are starting to roll on this one? I mean, does it have a different feeling than the other records when they came out? Uh, we're definitely, you know, we're touring. We're starting to tour a lot more than with the first record. It seems like things are moving a lot faster for us, you know. It's all kind of coming together for this record for us. Now, does it feel to you that, that your music has changed because this one's like a little bit more melodic? Or do you think that the scene has changed to become a little bit more accepting to Flotsam and Jetsam? I think the scene has changed a lot. Everything's getting heavier. I mean, everything, even Michael Jackson's getting heavier. And uh, the heavier everything gets, the more accepted we become and other metal bands become. Because uh, in 1981, you would never hear, think of hearing some of these heavier bands on the radio. And now, no you know, a band like Metallica is almost thought of as top 40. Right, right. Okay, we're going to come back and talk to these guys about the uh, tour that Flotsam and Jetsam is about to embark on. And right now, let's play a video from the crew. Here's an older one. Here's Looks a Kill. We're here with some of the guys from Flotsam and Jetsam, and the new record is called Quattro. Check it out. And you're about to hit the road. Uh, we're going to start on the 17th of March in Vegas and head right up to Seattle on the West Coast. And uh, Excited to be getting out on the road? Now you've, been, now, now, you've been touring for a long time, right? I mean, when the band, the band started in what, 80? Yeah, 81. We've, um, I don't know, the tours are kind of far and maybe few in between because... Uh, Every time we've uh, every time we've done an album, we've lost a bass player, and we had to start all over again, go back in the studio, start writing again, and we missed a lot of touring. So we're going to tour until we can't even stand touring mm -hmm. anymore this time. So. so everybody can go out and see Flotsam and Jetsam. That's right. Tell me about the new bass player, real quick. Jason Ward. He's from uh, Chicago. From uh, he was in a, a local band in Chicago. Moved out to Arizona to try to do something with his band, and we snagged him right away. Right on. And. Uh, uh, he's never been in a, he's never really been on an album before, he's never been on tour before, and he's doing really good. good. He's a green boy. Good. Well, that's good. Good. Keeps a he's fresh green, feeling in he's it. He's got a lot of energy. So. Right on. Well, good luck with the new record. Again, it's called Quattro. Check it out. 
and they'll probably be hitting your club, so definitely check out Flotsam and Jetsam. Good band. Thanks a lot for stopping by. When we get back, the uh, new video from a band is going to be hit. We're going to have a new video from a band that's going to be hitting the road with Alice in Chains. Their video is Heaven and Hell, and uh, Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains is even featured in that video. So stick there. <laughs>